What's up, people? So, real quick, I am going to talk to you guys about um, all the fixes to the black screen of death you get on League of Legends. Um, this will be in depth, so um, I'm going to explain each one and why they work and how they work. So, it will take uh, eight minutes or so, but um, we'll try and do them quick. So, first off, the black, black screen of death is when you uh, get a black screen after you log into League of Legends or uh, once you hit play and you're in the queue select but nothing comes up but a black screen. This is a technical glitch caused by um, installing something wrong or downloading something wrong when you are patching during uh, League of Legends uh, during the League of Legends um, update thing. So uh, first off this is a gameplay for my uh, Twitch jungle um, I'm just going to leave this running uh, while I'm explaining this. This is actually part 3 of my gameplay. Uh, you can watch part 1 and 2 uh, at my channel. So, um, I've run across all the fixes possible because I have done an extensive search online on all the possible fixes. And I have uh, congregated all the... Uh, major fixes that have been approved by Riot staff, Riot technicians, or the majority of the League of Legends community. So let's get started. The very first um, major fix um, is the one where you uh, disable menu animations during login. This is the quickest fix and what you all you have to do is after you hit play and you are at the login screen you look at the bottom right and you tick the disable menu animations and I also tick the disable uh, sound animations or the disable sound whatever it's called because I find that uh, sometimes that might cause problems too so after you do that you log in and you check if it works if it doesn't you might want to just uh, reinstall not reinstall, um, restart it up and try again and it may work then. If that doesn't work you can try fix number two which is after you log in there is a gear at the upper right of your screen there's a little gear icon you click that and then you will have the screen and on that screen there will be an option that says disable menu animations um, for those of you who didn't hear that it's uh, disable menu animations by clicking the upper right corner uh, gear icon after you log in. You click that and then you test it out and always make sure to test in custom games so you don't lose ELO or uh, points for uh, leaving a game. Um, you always want to make sure that after you tick it that you restart the game so that the things take effect. So if it doesn't work after you tick it you might want to just try restarting the game or restarting the entire program. Um, if that doesn't work, we go on to fix number three. Um, this is the one that uh, fixed it the first time when I got it. And just a quick uh, thing to tell you guys, um, I've been playing this game for a year and a half um, constantly and my black screen did not occur uh, until a few days ago for the first time. And this was the first fix that actually worked for me. Um, what I had to do was I used a uh, uh, program to completely uninstall my uh, League of Legends game. You don't have to do this. You could just use the Windows uninstall that comes with it. But if you want a very clean uninstall that uninstalls everything, uh, Windows doesn't always do that sometimes. You can find a free program online to do this. There are so many. I use CCleaner. And from there, I uninstalled the whole thing. Then I went on to... Uh, League of Legends after re uh, restarting my computer and I re-downloaded it and it worked but that only worked for a couple days and I got the black screen again when we got another new patch so from there we go on to f the next fix and uh, this fix worked permanently so I fixed it the second time with this one um, and that is to um, Go to your League of Legends folder, which is usually located in your C file, and um, what you want to do is start it up from there. Uh, 
look in your C file, which is on your C drive of my computer. Start it up from there, and uh, you hit the play screen. From the play screen, um, you will have a choice of three different separate server modes, or sometimes more. Um, and you want to switch it to the least common server, which is the Nordic West or Nordic East server. And the reason is you want to avoid the mainstream servers um, because there are some problems with it. And then after you do that, um, look at the upper right and there will be another gear icon. Click that gear icon and untick peer-to-peer -peer transfer. Um, sometimes if you're transferring between peers, uh, you might get corrupt files. So you want to untick that and click save and it will um, start auto patching if it does not go back to the uh, gear icon at the upper right click it and there will be a button that says repair uh, go ahead and click that button that says repair and you'll probably have to wait like a long time maybe half an hour to an hour depending on how fast your computer is if your computer is really fast you might be able to do it in 10 20 minutes but um, the repair basically scans your whole um, thing and it will repair all the files and since you're doing the Nordic server you, it will be less mainstream and more high quality once that's done you want to switch back to the North American server or if you're not from North America, whatever server you're on, probably uh, EU West or whatever. And from there, wait for it to load up and go ahead and select play. When you switch back to the main server, you might have a small patch update. that, And that's just to gear it towards your specific uh, nation server. So don't worry about that. Wait for that to finish and um, hit play. Uh, so go ahead and test that out. And um, if that doesn't work, we have the next fix, which is a uh, really simple. Um, you go do the same thing as the previous fix, but you go ahead and tick peer to peer transfer. Sometimes you will get good peers, and sometimes it's the right server that's giving you the corrupt file. So go ahead and click that, and then tick the repair button again, and do it all over again, and it should work from there. And if that doesn't work, I do have this final fix that should fix it up. But I will say that for part two of this uh, series on how to fix black screens. So check that out on my channel. See you guys later, and I hope it works. Contact. Yeah.